Hi everyone, today in front of me I have this Realme Narzo 58 Prime smartphone and in this video I would like to share the top 5 tips for this device. So let's go ahead and start. The first tip is the fact that you can set some of the biometrics like the fingerprints or your face as the unlock method on this device. So in order to turn this feature on, you gotta open up the settings. Here look for the security category. And at the security category you'll see that uh, the device security section has both fingerprint and face unlock. So let's go ahead and start from setting up the fingerprint. The system will require you to set up uh, alongside with the fingerprint to set up the backup unlock method. You can choose from pattern, pin or password. I'll go with pattern. Set up the backup pattern. Confirm it. And after that you'll be able to enroll the fingerprint itself. So the fingerprint sensor is located on the side of your smartphone at the power button as you can see so just lay and lift lay and lift move your finger in different various positions in order for your fingerprint to be scanned entirely and correctly it might take some time so just take your time and make sure that this uh, circle will become fully blue which will mean that your entire fingerprint is scanned. is scanned. As you can see, the fingerprint has been successfully added. And now we can use it in uh, for unlocking our smartphone. As you can see, the phone is successfully unlocked. Let's go ahead and set up the face unlock as well. So all you gotta do is place your face uh, at this frame, circle frame. I'll do it off the screen real quick. All right, and it, it, it happens in a fraction of a second. The face unlock sets, it up, sets itself up very quickly. And now I'll show you how the face unlock works. As you can see, the lock icon on top of your screen is being successfully opened once I point the selfie camera at my face. So the face unlock works just fine as well. So we are moving on to the next step, which is located at the settings of the smartphone as well, at the accessibility category. So go for it. Here, uh, look for the remove animation switch. It is located at the display section. And once it is enabled, it removes all possible animations that it can. So that's how the turn on or turn off switch animation or its absence should I say looks like and for example if I'll uh, get myself back to the home screen that's how this will look like that's how the drawer animation will look or the recent step so uh, basically by removing animations you are taking some of the uh, power load of the smartphone so uh, the battery will be drained a bit slower and the overall performance of your phone will be slightly increased so if you feel like your smartphone does not work fast enough or it lags a lot you can just go ahead and uh, enable the remove animations feature next we have the third tip which is also located at the settings accessibility and all that it's left to do is to look for the system navigation setting subsetting that is located at the interaction control section here we can choose between two types of uh, navigations either this buttons on the bottom as you can see or the gesture navigations let me show you how it will look like and the gesture navigation can be also somehow configured or at least you can configure the left edge and right edge sensitivity so once the gesture navigation is enabled in order to get back to the home screen just uh, swiftly swipe upwards in order to open up the recent uh, menu just drag this bar to the top slowly and in order to get back to the previous page just swipe right like this and the three button navigation is common and everybody knows how to use it so just the middle button is responsible for getting back to the home screen the third button is responsible for opening up the recent tab and this button is responsible for getting back 
I'll just leave it at the three button navigation as for right now. All right, so we are moving on to the next tip, which is also located at the accessibility setting. And just scroll down until you will stumble upon the experimental section of accessibility category. And here, enable high contrast text. And as you can see, all the, all the possible text has become way more contrast. So if you are having any issues with reading the text, you can just go ahead and enable the setting for the text to look more contrast and for it to be better visible. And the last tip that I uh, would like to share with you on this video is located at the settings. Look for the smart controls. And this uh, category has a few interesting features. For example, smart wake, which once enabled uh, makes so when you pick up the device and double click anywhere on the screen, uh, you'll wake it up. So, for example, I'll lift it. And as you can see, the, we have been successfully brought up to the lock screen. Next, we have lift to check the phone. So once it blocks, we can just simply lift it in order to, as you can see, in order to turn on the screen and get ourselves to the lock screen as well. Next, we have the smart motion that once enabled allows us to make some physical movements with our phone and set up some uh, certain scenario movements for certain apps. For example, smart call or smart audio and video play. And there is also the bucket mode, which once enabled makes sure that uh, your phone uh, has its smart controls when the device is in the bucket. For example, you can enable touch disable, smart bell or power saving once uh, the phone and the system will recognize the fact that you have put your smartphone into your pocket. Alright, so that was it not only for the last tip but for this video in general. So if you find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!